And I mean, you're going to laugh when you hear this. The first headliner that I ever did lies for was the Rolling Stones. I just come off the stones with Patrick Woodruff. We were just finishing the tour, and he asked me if I wanted to do ACDC. As that was his next tour, and of course I said yes, and that was uh, in '89. The one thing that impressed me about this band is the first time I worked with them in uh, 1990 when that tour started. They did a full-blown rehearsal, and they played their hearts out to nobody, which really showed me how much the show meant to them. So that, that was my first taste of ACDC Live, was seeing them in an empty arena at a dress rehearsal going, wow, these guys mean business. Big time. I mean, when we first, did on, on the uh, Razor's Edge tour in 1990, they were completely, it was the first tour they'd used moving lights, and we had VL2s and VL4s at the time. And they were against it. I mean, it was a bunch of park hands. We still had a big park hand, con you know, conventional rig, moles, and ACLs. Um, and they were, they were against it. But we still made it a rock rig with a few moving lights. Over the course of the tours, we've added more moving lights and taken away the conventionals. But I run the show like a conventional show. I, I run it old school, even with moving lights. I've over the years, I've, my, my chops are that I run it like a rock rig, like a conventional park hand, ACL, and they say they like it, you know, it still feels that way to them. I don't just do, like a lot of LDs, you do color bumps all the time. That, they want an intensity hit. They want to they see the change on the stage. They want to feel it. I mean, they're not going to feel the park hands, but I mean, I got to say, the 3500s and the 4000s out here do put out heat, so at least they feel some heat. But it, doing the intensity makes them feel that heat. And that's the key, is doing that, is, is running it like a park hand rig. My lights are like it used to be, you know. Um, call me a dinosaur LD if you want. But the modern stuff, I mean, you know, like um, EDM and stuff, it's, it's a lot more flashy, stroby. Um, moving, panning, color changes and stuff like that, whereas rock and roll like this is just chunky beef. It's, you know, it's beefy looks, um, it goes with the music. I mean, the beauty about park hands is you have the attack and decay, which is like a guitar with the sustain and stuff like that. You know, with most other music, it's, it's very sharp and quick. And so, yeah, there, there is a huge difference. But, and as, like I said, there's a lot, of, a lot of newer stuff that do use that kind of style, like even on rock shows, but I still do the old chunky, beefy, old school, you know, rock looks, even with a bunch of moving lights. I mean, I still own an Avo a Pearl. I'm an old Avo Selco guy. Um, the, the best console I ever used was the Icon console by uh, LSD, which was, a, which was a fantastic console. I've used the Hog, and I've, I've used different versions of different desks over the years. Um, and I've used the Grand MA1 on different tours in the uh, early 90s and stuff. But what, what happened is we decided to use the Grand Emmy 1 on the last ACDC tour in, in, uh, starting in uh, 2008 on the, uh, the Black Ice tour. So at that point in time I learned to use the Grand Emmy 1 and I liked a lot of things about it. I liked a lot of things about it before. And while we were touring in Europe we went to uh, the Emmy factory and they, sh they were working on the Emmy 2. And I got to see that and I, and I liked it a lot. I, I, uh, I certain things I prefer about the one. I like the buttons better on the one. But when this one went out, Dave Hill, who's, who's you know, programs this with me, is one of the co-designers as well. He said, do you want to use the two? And I said, it's, uh, it's time for me to graduate to the two. So I, I've gone ahead and done it. I've taken the plunge and, and I love it. I mean, it's like the, it's everything the Grand Emmy one isn't, you know, has so many more things, it's so much faster. Um, I still, as I said, the buttons, I miss the buttons, but I'm, I've gotten used to these. Uh, I, you know, I fat finger stuff every once in a while, but uh, I've managed to keep, keep from doing that. But I love the new console. I love the look of it. I love, uh, I love how I can program on the fly with it. You know, that's one of my key things because I'm, I make a lot of changes during a show. I don't just run it. I, I change stuff. I see something I want to do and I'll make a change without, you know, without affecting me, the ability to run the show. And on the MA2, I can do that.
this is the first one without any par cans at all. You know, we have a bunch of moles. We have, I, as I said, I run it like par cans. The, the, the 3500s really give me a nice par effect. I mean, I actually have one par can that I actually keep out here next to me, just so I have one par can on this show. That's the biggest difference is there's not as many conventionals as on the last tour. There's a bunch of, we have tons of mole phase, you know, we like lighting the audience. Um, the, the big difference structurally for this one is our stage roof is much smaller. So the lights are right on top of the band. It's a lot more intimate. Um, when that allows me to make it, those beefy looks better because there's not that much room. So I can really, really make it beef and chunky and, and stuff with, with the looks. You know, especially that many lights over the heads of the band, it's, 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 uh, it gives me a lot, a lot there. So yeah, but it's, it's different in some ways and very similar in others, but yeah, it's, it's definitely different. The two main fixtures we're using are uh, the new VL4000, and they're tremendous. I mean, uh, at first I, was, I always thought the 3500s were just as good, but after getting used to them and, and learning what they can do, I mean, they are great. I mean, they have do so many different things, and the, the, uh, the lens system is unbelievable. I mean, the size of the beams, I mean, and that they can be beef, and they can be thin, and they can be ACLs. They're fat. They're big lights, but man, they're, they're fast, and uh, they're beautiful. I mean, I'm, I'm really, really pleased. Um, so we have a lot of, we have a VL 4000s, we have a VL 3500 washes. The Roby BMFL we have, uh, which I saw at LDI in November and I loved it, you know, so we decided to get a few out here. Uh, we have a bunch of Sharpie. We were gonna go with the, Shar the, sh the newer Sharpie stuff, but we decided to go with the old standard of the Sharpie and the Sharpie washes. I use the Sharpie washes a lot for um, lighting the PA, lighting the fascia, uh, mainly is set lighting and stuff. Uh, we have a bunch of uh, moles for lighting the audience. And then I have some Sharpie, just some regular Sharpie uh, beams just, just for the finger looks and stuff like that. And we have a bunch of LED lights mainly for, you know, different effects, strobe, strobe stuff like that. It's funny, I mean, it's, I mean, I'm in a very fortunate position. I mean, a few years ago when I was working for the Scorpions, we went on tour with Whitesnake, and it was a Whitesnake opened up for the Scorpions. And I was asked to do both bands, and I went to my, the main band, or for Scorpions at the time, and said, uh, uh, David Coverdale and Whitesnake wants me to run lights, do you guys mind? They said, no, we know you'll do a great job for us. And, and David Coverdale, of course, was, you know, oh, you know, I know you'll do a great job for me. So, I mean, there's always going to be the competition. I did, a sh I did a last, the year before last, I was down in Australia, doing Aerosmith and Van Halen was playing the next weekend but they decided to put the two shows together because of ticket sales so Van Halen asked if I would run lights for them as well and you know there was a little competition you know they Van Halen wanted to make sure they look good and Aerosmith wasn't so worried because they knew I would make them look good and I, they were my you know my main band but you know I don't really see it so much um, I don't see I mean like Steven Tyler wants me to make his show look great like I make ACDC look great, you know, and, and um, I, I, don't, I don't see the competition so much, but they just want a great show. They want it different, but they want a great show, you know. It, it's when they work together, like on the same tour, that's when it becomes a little bit of a battle. So that's, that's, that's playing politics. But no, I don't, I don't see it. I, you know, everybody wants a great show and, and they're, you know, they're, is, I think it is, is the fact that I work with them, they trust me. And that's the key, you know. You know, I've worked on tours. I got to say, I worked Deep Purple and Scorpions in 2002, and that was a fight, you know, because Deep Purple wanted a bigger lighting rig, and Scorpions wanted a bigger lighting rig. We finally worked everything out, and everybody had a great time. I had to keep putting up. Um, I would print the reviews from fans on on paper and put it in the dressing rooms, and all the reviews I printed would say how great the show was. Not Scorpions and not Black, uh, not by Deep Purple, but how great they both were, and, and that that the band finally realized, ah, we're both great, and that's that's the key. So, it's the battle of the bands, the thing is the thing of the past. <laughs>